Look, what is the latest then? It appears to be quite an embarrassing day for the Beeb. A lot going on. Yes, Patrick, a lot going on in that building behind me. But a deal has been made between the BBC and Gary Lineker. He will be returning to our screens this weekend to present Match of the Day. And it must be said, it was a pretty bruising weekend for the BBC. There was a snap poll uh, out over the weekend by YouGov. 53% of people said that the BBC hadn't handled this row correctly. They said that Gary Lineker should never have been taken off air. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why they moved so quickly uh, in order to resolve this issue. Well, Director General Tim Davey gave a statement this morning and in it it said that Gary is a valued part of the BBC and he knows how much the BBC means to Gary as well. Uh, they look forward to Gary presenting the coverage of Match of the Day this weekend. And Tim Davey also went on to announce a new independent review into the BBC's social media guidelines and there will be a particular focus on freelancers who are working outside of news and current affairs. That does uh, directly impact on Gary Lineker. And he also recognised that in the current social media policy, there are grey areas that do need addressing. Tim Davey did say that in the meantime, whilst that independent review goes on, Gary Lineker has agreed to stick to the current social media guidance. But it must be said, uh, Gary Lineker hasn't confirmed this yet. And after it was announced, that deal had been made between the BBC and Gary Lineker. He took to Twitter and wrote a thread on his personal Twitter page. I want to share some of that with you now. He says, after a surreal few days, I'm delighted that we have navigated a way through this. And he wants to thank his colleagues at BBC Sport for their show of solidarity. He says he's very proud to work for the BBC that he describes as the best and fairest broadcaster in the world. But he goes on to say a final thought, which is this. However difficult the last few days have been, it simply doesn't compare to having to flee your home from persecution or war to seek refuge in a land far away. It's heartwarming to have seen the empathy towards their plight from so many of you. We remain a country of predominantly tolerant, welcoming and generous people. Thank you. So it is very interesting mm. that it, just moments after news of that deal was broken, Gary Lineker did take the opportunity to double down on his mm. comments that he made last Tuesday. Those comments that did snowball, really, into this row about freedom of expression and also impartiality at the BBC. But he very much stands firm by those comments. But it, it does seem as though it was a respectful uh, mutual agreement mm. between the BBC and Tim Davey. Um, Gary Lineker described uh, Tim, Gray, uh, Tim Davey as being very understanding during this very difficult period. So he will be back on air this weekend, Patrick, and it looks as though for the meantime he is going to continue to keep tweeting.